Hi guys, in this video, we will start uh, the complete discussion on eddy currents, uh, which are also called as Foucault currents. And this is very important topic as far as boards are concerned. So please pay attention. Uh, now, what are eddy currents? So first of all, <coughs> we see that that whenever magnetic flux linked with a conductor changes or that conductor moves in a perpendicular magnetic field then small current loops are induced in that conductor and those currents are known as eddy currents so uh, if uh, we are starting with the cause then we can say that uh, whenever the magnetic flux linked with some conductor changes or that conductor is moving through a magnetic field which is perpendicular to its surface then uh, the eddy currents are being induced in that conductor now these eddy currents are uh, induced in form of loops and uh, therefore by comparing it with uh, the whirlpool which is formed in water we have named it as whirlpool currents or these eddy means uh, the word eddy means whirlpool you can see that this disc is a conducting disc which is rotating through this magnetic field which is uh, perpendicular to this uh, part to its face now uh, this disc uh, due to its motion uh, there would be eddy currents which is induced in this disc in this part which is also in form of loops now this part of the disc is going away from the magnetic field I will draw with the arrow <coughs> this part is going away from the magnetic field and this part is coming inside the magnetic field so uh, the eddy currents induced in this part this one would try uh, see eddy currents uh, have a nature that they oppose the cause of their induction similar similar to the induced uh, emf so uh, these eddy currents will oppose uh, the rotation of the disc because the disc rotation is the cause for their induction so these uh, eddy currents would be trying to reduce uh, the motion of uh, this disc and here uh, will be a <coughs> south pole which will be induced because this north will attract the south pole and therefore a dragging force will be developed in this part and as this part this one is entering the magnetic field therefore uh, eddy currents would oppose their motion and it will try that this part should not enter the magnetic field and hence a north pole will be generated so that this north pole will apply a force which is repulsive force and also a dragging force is developed in backward direction so uh, you can see that when this disc is rotating through this magnetic field then uh, there are two different kind of eddy currents which are produced in these two different parts because this part is leaving from the magnetic field and this part is entering in the magnetic field so the uh, conclusively we can say that the basic nature of eddy current is to oppose the reason uh, due to which it is induced and the same reason is behind the electromagnetic damping now this word <coughs> damping means to slow down or to drag now let us uh, understand electromagnetic damping uh, with an example so if uh, we do an experiment that we have taken a conducting sheet which is being hinged about this point by a, a wooden rod and this sheet is being uh, oscillated in this plane and there is a small magnetic field region you can see that now what we observe is the fact that when this um, <coughs> sheet is um, outside this magnetic field then it is moving freely and here it would be moving freely and when uh, as soon as it would be entering this magnetic field we are uh, experiencing some drag force which is retarding its motion in this position 
and when it is leaving this magnetic field we are also again experiencing some drag force which is retarding its motion this drag force is due to the induction of eddy currents and uh, these eddy currents are induced due to change of the magnetic flux now when this sheet is uh, entering this magnetic field then the magnetic flux linked with this sheet is increasing because initially when it was out of this magnetic field the magnetic flux linked was zero and now when it is inside this magnetic field then the flux linked with this sheet is increasing so this eddy current would try to decrease uh, the flux linked and hence it would try to retard the motion of this sheet and for that purpose uh, the eddy current would be induced in such a way such that there would be a south pole at this front face now the face which is uh, facing towards this magnetic field and this magnetic field obviously would have a north pole because the magnetic field is coming out of this plane so the face of this sheet which is facing towards this north pole will have a north pole on it because we are on the other side and therefore this north will repel the north and this repulsive force is this drag force now when this uh, uh, sheet is going out of this magnetic field then uh, the eddy currents would uh, try to oppose its outward motion and hence to oppose its outward motion the eddy current would be induced in such a way such that a north pole will be developed on this face and on that inner face a south pole would be developed so that this north will attract the south pole and a drag force which is f is uh, generated due to this attractive force so in both these uh, cases when the sheet is entering or when sheet is leaving the eddy current is uh, generating a drag force which is opposing the motion of this sheet and this drag force uh, creates electromagnetic damping now how to reduce in some cases this electromagnetic damping is uh, not useful and in fact it is uh, a kind of evil to us because there is uh, some loss of energy also so to reduce this electromagnetic damping where it is unwanted we have bifurcated this uh, sheet into this strips now due to this bifurcation uh, we can see that the strength of eddy currents is reduced as the eddy currents are induced in very small loops and these uh, loops are also opposing each other you can see that the current in this loop is like that and in this loop is like that so they they are opposing each other and they are cancelling out each other effect and also due to the smaller area of the loops uh, the magnetic movement of these eddy currents is small and therefore uh, with smaller magnetic movement they cannot generate a large drag force so there would be a very small drag force in this case and hence it uh, this bifurcated sheet uh, can move through this magnetic field with almost no damping so this is the primary method to reduce electromagnetic damping in my next video we will discuss the uh, excellent applications of eddy currents thank you